facility is the Gearbox Center of Excellence. And what we focus on is assembly of large industrial gearboxes. There is a lot that happens in this building. The front side, which is issuing quotations to customers, that starts the process of order entry. From order entry, then goes to the design group. Production and purchasing go into their mode, and then assembly, then things really start to move along. Our machine shop is to support assembly. Instead of sending a housing out to a local vendor to be modified for the accessory, we do it in-house. They're making drill and tap modifications in housings and covers for various accessories, lubrication accessories, breathers. Once we get an order, we'll pull it from the inventory. It goes through the wash tank that removes any particulate that is on the part and gets it ready for assembly. The assembly process starts with what we call sub-assembly. Sub-assembly is the shaft, the gear, the bearings, the spacers. The gears are heated up, put onto the shaft for interference fit. When those sub-assemblies are complete, each sub-assembly is then put into the housing. The housings are closed together. Then the bearings are set for the proper bearing clearance as well as the appropriate tooth contact. After assembly, the gearbox goes through no load test phase. The unit is painted to the order specification. And then it goes to final assembly. Final assembly is where we add loose accessories, special breathers, motor mounting brackets. We do drive base assemblies, making it ready for quality inspection. So the final step of the quality plan, and then the quality releases the order for shipment. Unit gets loaded onto a truck and gets delivered to the customer. What we call the JB market, peaks and troughs a lot. Sumitomo's um, position in the market was, yes, it was tight a few years ago, there wasn't a lot to be made, but if we invest now, we'll be ready for when the market grows again. And, and that's exactly what we've done. And from an investment standpoint, you know, we've not only invested in our staff, but uh, you know, this facility alone is like an $8 million investment. Additional to that is the inventory. So we want to make sure that we have everything in place. So if a customer wants a a standard unit they can have it in a very short lead time we want them to know that we can do customization it's very difficult to do that yourself and just with with your own dedicated sales force to have a company like motion who branches out into many industries the market knows their brand better and they know that they are like a one-stop shop to go to um, to get uh, what the customers needs are to be a partnered with that just expands our footprint and, and our exposure to the market We've made a commitment to this product specifically and in this area specifically and I think it speaks to the level of commitment we have to ensure our customers have those solutions available to them. Not only for their existing products but also for uh, future uh, expansions and, and construction. Motion has always been our largest distributor and really a valued and dependable partner for us on the sales side. On the MRO side, um, you know, we, we always know we can count on Motion to provide us with products when we're in a pinch. Uh, if we need a bearing, if we need a shaft, if we need a seal, uh, we know we can count on Motion to, uh, to get those products for us.